Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever it is that you celebrate. I wish that you had a great uh, celebration. Um, I want to go back and look at my year in review. Everything that's been gone through on this channel, everything that's happened over the last year. I mean, of the four cars I have right now, only one of them was here a year ago. So there's so much that happened. I took on my biggest projects yet with the help of some friends and so much was accomplished and there's still even more to come in 2023. So with that said, let's get into it and a happy new year to all of you. Let's start off with the cars because I mentioned at the start of the year, just to remind you all, I only had two cars actually. I had my 2003 9.3 Arc, which has been on the channel since the day I started it. And then I had my Saab 9.3 Turbo X, which at this time last year, I was getting ready to sell. I was ready to just move on from it, get something a little bit newer with less miles. So sure enough, at the start of 2022, I listed that thing for sale. I ended up selling it a couple weeks later, and then I picked up this right here, my 2017 Audi S3. I absolutely love my S3. It's different than the Turbo X in a lot of ways. I haven't been making a ton of content on it. The videos don't seem to do as well as I would like, unfortunately. So if you guys would like to see more about this car, please go check out the playlist for the S3, which is linked at the top of the corner. I do have a lot of cool videos on this thing, and uh, I think a lot of you will like it if you give it a chance. At the end of 2021, I actually bought my first house, which is where I'm standing right now. So at the start of 2022, I did a lot of things to it, um, mostly garage-wise is obviously what I filmed because that's what you guys always see and what you would care about. Buying tools, my toolbox, my workbenches, building all those, all my storage shelves, all of these amazing plates hung up back here that you guys have sent me over the past year. Um, I absolutely love this. Thank you to everyone, by the way, who has sent me their plate. If you see yours up here, just thank you again. But we did a lot of stuff like that to the house and there's more to come uh, in the future. I think I'm gonna probably be building some more shelves. I'm gonna be getting some more tools, things like that. So if you wanna see a video on, on anything like that, shoot me a DM or leave a comment down below. Throughout the year, I worked with Maptoon a lot and I did a few sponsored videos as well as some other modifications on my 2003 9.3. Uh, that goes from installing the Apple CarPlay capable ICM3, which I really love. One of my favorite mods I have done to this car to this date. I did a full Maptoon suspension on it, which is amazing. I did Maptoon strut brace. I did their steering wheel. I did their door handles. I did their grill up front. So this car is really starting to come together. I might have one more thing coming for it soon, and then we'll go from there, see what else is up. But a lot of modifications happen to that car, and it's just kind of coming together even more, and I'm just so happy with where it's at. It's Shortly after I bought the S3, in fact, I think it was about two weeks after I bought the S3, I took it out to California for a road trip. On my way back, I was getting gas in Yuma, which is about the halfway point between San Diego and Phoenix. I was parked on the corner uh, pump, and sure enough, there was a 93-year-old uh, man towing a trailer that was way bigger than what he should have been towing. Took the turn too sharp, and he ran over my entire front end. Needless to say, I was really, really upset and bummed about this. Um, I was actually outside of the car at the time in the middle of getting gas when it happened, and I just watched him drive over the front end of my car. It did, however, put this car out of commission for uh, two or three months until I could get it fixed. And uh, now it's fully fixed back together. I also went ahead and got some PPF paint protection film on the car uh, after that by Dynamic Tint. Shortly after the S3 got hit and went into the shop to get repaired, I decided that I wanted to buy another Saab. At that point, I just had my Blue 9.3 and the S3, and I kind of wanted a third car again, sort of like an actual project car, which I hadn't had in about a year. And I started kind of looking, I wasn't too sure on what exactly I wanted. And of course, a classic 900 popped up in Flagstaff, which is about two and a half hours away. Needed a lot of work. It didn't start anything like that. It still needs a lot of work, believe me. There's going to be so many more videos coming on that car. Going into that, what exactly have we done to the 900? Well, big thanks to Lucas and John, Saving Sobs, Dat Sob on Instagram. I've promoted them countless times because of how awesome they are and how much they helped me out. 
Because of them, we were able to manual swap that car. There was actually a manual 900 that showed up at the junkyards literally like three days after I bought the 900 because it came as a three-speed automatic. So I probably drove the car about a total of six or seven miles with it as a three-speed automatic. So we completed the manual swap. I actually literally just finally finished putting the interior back together. You guys should see a video on that very soon if it hasn't already come out. On top of the manual swap, which is obviously not a uh, necessary mod to do, there was a lot of work that the car actually did need. So for example, it leaked a bunch. In fact, it still does have a very small leak uh, that I haven't had time to look at yet, but it had leaks from three or four different spots that we fixed. The instrument cluster had a ton of problems. That took me three months to fix. If you guys saw that video recently, that was a complete nightmare. The dashboard was cracked. I attempted to repair that. The bumpers were all paint fading and everything, so I refinished those. They had some front end damage. One of the headlights and the corner lights was cracked. The hood has a dent in it. And uh, gave it a good clean inside out. And uh, just a lot of other little things done to that car since I bought it in May. So the last seven months have been pretty filled with 900 work and content. Of course, I also picked up some SPG wheels for it, some three spokes to replace the boring wheels that were on it when I bought it. So that was a nice little upgrade cosmetically to do to it. This summer, we had a really unique opportunity to go to the Saab Owners Convention, the yearly Saab event that we have here in the United States. This time, of course, it was in Sturgis, South Dakota, which is coincidentally at the headquarters of both East Saab Parts and the Saab Heritage Museum. So it was super awesome to not only go out to Sturgis and be somewhere I hadn't been before, but to tour the museum, see all the cool sobs, see all of, you know, old friends that you only really see once a year at these events. That was a ton of fun, had a really cool and fun Airbnb and got to meet some of you there as well. 2023 SOC will be in Chicago somewhere. So I'm hoping to be at that SOC as well. With the car market being all out of proportions and blown up, we did also see some kind of crazy sob auctions. We saw a lot of classic 900s sell for a good deal of money, like substantial money. And then there was even one that sold for $140,000. Absolutely insane that a classic 900 could sell for that much, but that's just the kind of world we're in right now, I guess. Back to the S3 temporarily. Of course, like I said, I got the PPF on here from Dynamic Tint. And very recently, actually, I picked up some new wheels for it. If you haven't seen that video, definitely go check it out because these wheels make the car look a whole lot more sporty as it should have come from factory. Unfortunately, the uh, original owner didn't option these wheels from factory, which was a bit disappointing. Now at this time, I've got three cars. I've got the 900, the 93, the S3. I have a subscriber hit me up saying, hey man, I'm actually really close to you. I've got a 93 with a bad transmission. If you guys want it to work on, you know, work on it and fix it up, um, let me know. So sure enough, Lucas and I went down there, we picked it up from him and got it. And uh, that's kind of been a big centerpiece of the channel as well recently. So black 2003 had a bad transmission. It has a bunch of stuff that doesn't work. It leaked from everywhere. So we're still in the process of sorting that out, but we got the transmission replaced, the engine pooled, reinstalled, all that fun stuff, but there's still so much to come. We just put a full aero interior, replaced center console, things like that in that car. So that was really, really awesome. Um, but still more to come on that car as well. More little upgrades before we go ahead and finish that project. Couple of last little things. We of course had our yearly Saab Club of Arizona meet, which is always so fun. Thank you to IMM Auto Service again for hosting that. It was a lot of fun to put that together, organize a group photo, get up on the roof for the actual group photo. That was a ton of fun. If you guys remember that video, which is only about a month or two old. And besides that, I mean, what I really had was a bunch of little quick fix videos, which I think people, they don't do great with views sometimes right off the bat, but I think over time they can be really helpful to people and kind of gain more views as people run into problems like a hood cable replacement or amp one replacement. Those are a couple of the recent ones I did. So there's my 2022 recap. Briefly, I wanna talk about 2023. What's in store for 2023? First off, like I already alluded to, more 900 content for sure. That thing still needs so much work that I just like have such a big list I don't even know where to begin. More 9.3 content too. I'd like to film some more S3 and Audi content. Um, let me know what you guys might want to see with this car because I love driving it. I love filming it. I kind of split miles between this and the 9.3. 
Maybe some more new projects, who knows? We definitely have to offload the black 93 first. I can't take another car, my stress levels are already way up here with that. We'll also have some more fun meets like SOC 2023, like I mentioned, probably another Arizona meet, some cruises, fun things like that. But that's all I've got for today, guys. Once again, happy holidays, happy new year to you. Thank you guys all so much for your continued support. Please, if you're not already subscribed, click the subscribe button. Help me reach my goal of 100,000 subscribers. It would mean so much to me. Also, if you've been able to read the shirt I've been wearing in this video and you recognize what this is from, kudos to you. But that's all I got. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.